Welcome to another edition of Dogs TV. Tonight sort of looked like January 17th where the Ice Dogs played the Bulldogs and won 10-0. Only the score tonight was 10-2 over the Kitchener Rangers. Jack Stadnika had four goals. Sopa had two, Maximov had two, and this was also the return for Justin McPherson here to the Meridian Center after he got traded to the Kitchen Rangers in the offseason. He got the last goal of the game to make it a 10-2 score, but it was just all ice dogs the entire way. It really didn't look fair throughout the entire contest. Jack, you guys scored 10 goals tonight. A lot of storylines we could talk about, but I want to start with shorthanded goals. You guys scored two. Going back to Sudbury, they scored two shorthanded goals. That was the difference in that game. Even though it was a 10-2 score here tonight, how much of a, of a difference or how much does a boost do shorthanded goals give a team? Yeah, I mean, you always want to win a special teams battle. And um, coming in the game, we knew Kitchener had the first ranked power play, so we just tried to be aggressive. Uh, you know, we went through tape, we knew what we had to do, and you know, fortunately we scored on a couple. How much were you guys focusing on keeping Damiani, Gareffa, as well as Yances off the score sheet? Yeah, they had some good players over there, but, um, you know, a lot of the time it's more about us. Um, you know, I think, you know, we got good players too that can match up against anyone in the league. So, um, you know, credit to them, they're good players, but uh, I think we did a good job tonight. 7-1 after two periods. How much did you guys stay on the gas pedal, or how important was it to stay on the gas pedal? Because it's not like Kitchener went away. They finished with 33 shots on goal. They had a late power play where they created numerous chances. Of course, McPherson scored the late one there. But how much was it? How much important is it to stay on the gas pedal, keep scoring, um, so you can keep the opponent out of the game? Yeah, I mean that's what good teams do. If they, uh, you know, keep your foot on the pedal there and keep scoring goals. So, um, you know, obviously it was great that we got, got to do that in the third period. <laughs> And for you, 11 points in your last six games over that stretch. And even really since you got the A on your sweater, you've been, you know, real standouts. The guy we traded for here in Niagara. What's been going right for you over that stretch? Uh, just guys are really making me feel comfortable here. Um, you know, there's a great group of guys in the room, and, and management's been so welcome. So, you know, I really feel at home here, and it's going good. Thanks so much, Jack. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. The Ice Dogs now have tomorrow off before they welcome in the Peterborough Peets here to the Meridian Center. 7 o'clock puck drop. And you know what? There's not a lot of tickets left. So if you want to attend that game, get your tickets now. Single seats and standing room available only. And then they'll finish off the weekend Sunday, 2 o'clock start, up in Owen Sound at the Bayshore. For Dogs TV, I'm Reese Dumaney.